Hey everybody, this is Solving Quadratic Slash Linear Systems Shiplap Edition. Okay, so we have here some systems of equations, but not maybe not like you remember them, not uh, two linear systems. We have a quadratic uh, or two linear equation. We have a quadratic equation and a linear equation. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to graph these. All right, and disclaimer, if you graph these on Desmos, it shows you the solutions to the system. Because a solution to a system means what x, y value, what x, y value satisfies both of these equations. In other words, what's the point that they have in common? Well, um, you could probably tell that they intersect at 0, negative 5, right? And over here at, whatever that is, at uh, looks like 8, 13, something like that. So the intersections are the solutions. All right. Now, Here's what you're going to do on your end to not fully depend on Desmos uh, for everything. Uh, we're going to use a process called substitution. So you notice that both the quadratic equation and the linear equation are set equal to y. All right. Therefore, if they're both set equal to y, you can set the equations equal to each other. So we can say 2x minus 5 equals x squared minus 7x minus 5. And that ends up being um, a puny little quadratic equation. So with this quadratic equation, we're simply going to set it equal to 0, and we get 0 equals x squared minus 9. That's a quick factor by GCF. You get 0 equals x times x minus 9, and you can quickly find your zeros at that point. So the zeros are going to be x equals 0 and x equals 9. You are halfway there, all right, algebraically speaking. So you know that the solution, one of the solutions has x equals 0, um, and needs a y value, though, and the other solution is going to be x equals 9. I was wrong. I think I said 8 at the beginning. It's x equals 9. Um, it just needs its y value. All right. So um, all you need to do is substitute these two inputs back in to the equations in order to find the output. The cool part is you can substitute into the quadratic or the linear, whichever one you uh, you want to. Uh, I would do the linear just because it's only a couple of calculations. So I'm going to substitute zero into y equals two x minus five. And a quick calculation tells you that y equals negative 5. Therefore, 0, negative 5 is your first solution, all right, as we had predicted by the graph. All right, to find my second solution, I'm going to evaluate the linear function at 9 because I had found that x equals 9. So uh, 18 minus 5 is 13. Therefore, 9, 13 is your second solution, all right? That is your second solution. And that is basically how you solve these systems, all right? I'm going to show you a second system. Um, where you have your quadratic in y equals, but your linear function is not in y equals, all right? Your linear function is in standard form. So uh, I'm going to do this one a little bit different. Now, disclaimer, you could take the linear equation and you could solve it for y and do the same thing that you did in the first problem. However, uh, we are going to uh, spice things up a little bit. So we have 2x plus y equals 8. And what we're basically going to do is we're going to take negative x squared minus 4x plus 56, and we're going to substitute that into y of the second equation. So it reads like this, 2x plus, look at what I substituted. Instead of saying y, I'm going to say negative x squared minus 4x plus 56 and set it equal to 8. So I'm actually substituting into the linear equation. After doing a little bit of work, you have a quadratic, right? I, I have a quadratic set equal to 0. I don't like that it's a negative x squared. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide everything by negative 1. Or you could say I add everything to the other side. And you get x squared plus 2x minus 48. A quick factor will show you that x plus 8 and x minus 6 are the factors. Uh, follow up with uh, the finding the zeros, which are negative 8 and positive 6. Uh, after you have found these zeros, go back and substitute. In this case, I'm not going to substitute back into the linear uh, function, I'm going to substitute into the quadratic function because it's set equal to y. So I'm going to run a, a calculation right here, and I get for negative 8, my evaluation ends up at 24, and for positive 6, my evaluation ends up at negative 4. Uh, so I can graph these two, and those are indeed my solutions to the system. Uh, the last example, the last level, simply shows you an a value other than 1. That's it. And by a value other than one, we mean the quadratic has an a value other than one, just a tougher uh, factoring.